Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is how to play the Calypso strum. There are many ways to play strumming patterns like a basic down strum or up strumming, ska and reggae strumming, a flamenco technique called riscato, strumming with dampening, and there are more. But one of my favorites is a strum I call Calypso. In this episode, I'll cover the pattern basics, play examples, and give you tips and ideas to help you make this popular rhythm pattern a part of your guitar playing skills. The pattern is called Calypso because it has a Caribbean sort of flavor, but it can be played with just about any song, which is why it's a great rhythm pattern to have in your bag of guitar strumming tricks. Let's jump right in to how to play this strum. Grab your guitar so you can give it a try and play along with me. The Calypso strumming pattern is down, down, up, then a slight pause, then you'll strum up, down, up. Down, down, up, slight pause, up, down, up. Again, down, down, up, slight pause, up, down, up. For most people, the part that throws them off is after that slight pause, because you'll need to strum upward rather than what feels most natural, which is to strum down. So that means after that pause, you'll go to a position just below that first string instead of strumming down from string six. Again, the whole pattern is down, down, up, pause, go below string one and strum up, then down, then up. Again, it's down, down, up, pause, up, down, up, down, down, up, pause, up, down, up, down, down, up, pause, up, down, up. As you're playing it, it's a good idea to say the strumming directions out loud like I've just been doing. Let's play it together a couple of times. Be sure to say the pattern while you're playing it and notice that I've eliminated the word pause as it's an implied action with the pattern. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And so that you can get a real sense of how it sounds without me talking through it, listen as I play it and see if you can hear the pattern. Calypso is fun to play, but it works best in your songs when you're comfortable with the pattern. So that's the game plan. To get comfortable and used to playing Calypso, you should play the pattern, just the pattern, no chords or songs, over and over and over again, and then a whole bunch more, like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, up, 
down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. You see, the more you play this pattern, the sooner it becomes a solid muscle memory, and ultimately it becomes rote. It's like walking. You no longer think of the mechanics of the task, like bend your knee and ankle, shift your weight, lift your leg, step forward. You just do it because it's rote. You want that same thing to happen with this strumming pattern. Then you'll be able to play chords and add it to your songs without thinking about whether you should strum down or up. It just happens. I have a few steps for you to try to help you make this pattern more rote for you. It's a good idea to try these in order, but if one idea helps you more than another, then focus on what works best for you. Remember, we all learn differently. Step one is to play the pattern and say the strum directions like I described earlier. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Do that repetitively and as much as you can. Step two is to time yourself and see how long you can play the pattern without a blooper. Start out by trying to play the pattern without bloopers for 30 seconds. If you have bloopers, restart the 30 seconds. Build up to one minute, then two minutes, then three minutes, because the average song is about two and a half to three minutes long. So you want to be able to sustain the pattern for that duration. By the way, if you like this episode, as well as the more than 50 Tips for Guitar Playing Success podcast episodes, you can show your appreciation and support by joining my podcast group. Just go to the Become a Member link in the show notes. Thank you. Step three is to play this pattern while you're watching something on TV or on your device, like a movie, your favorite show, or a sporting event. Basically, having your mind focused on something other than the strumming pattern. It's a multitasking exercise for your brain, which is good because ultimately you'll be playing this pattern with chords and lyrics plus a tune. You want to begin to train your mind to not focus so much on just the mechanics of the strumming. So now that you're off and running with the Calypso strum, remember it helps to play it over and over again. Say it while you play it. Time yourself playing the strum and play the pattern while you're watching a show. Then, before you know it, you'll be ready to try playing chords and songs using this pattern. I'll talk about how to play chords and songs with this pattern in a future episode. For now, focus on down, down, up, up, down, up. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on. <laughs>